our sea. One of the most precious gifts nature offers us. With the gust of wind, this restless, smooth surface transforms into a wave, at times turbulent and at others serene. In its depths lies an impressive mosaic of life which constitutes an infinite field of exploration. Reefs and Neptune grasses constitute the foundation for marine ecosystems. Marine organisms, through an elaborate network, which begins from simple microorganisms, such as phytoplankton and zooplankton, and which results in big predatory fish and marine mammals create the food chain. In between, one can encounter bacteria, protozoa, flora species like seaweeds and plants, as well as animal kingdom species like jellyfish, sponges, bryozoa, larvae of fish, mollusks, herbivores and predatory fish, turtles, seals, dolphins and whales. Organisms such as seaweeds, bryozoa and sponges inhabit the reefs and create conditions to allow for other organisms to succeed them, cover them, cohabit with them or feed from them. In nature, ecosystems have always been balanced out by mechanisms and processes, which, among others, reduce the excessive increase of various populations. As opposed to other species on our planet, man has interfered in nature's balance mechanisms. The irrational human interference along with the vast pressure put on the marine environment as a result of pollution, overfishing and the degradation of marine habitats undoubtedly constitute a threat to the ecological balance. Our seas and their habitats are currently facing unprecedented challenges regarding the preservation of their biodiversity. However, we can still take decisive action. Is man, however, able to create constructions, conditions and structures which simulate natural reefs? That is, which provide shelter, nourishment, reproduction and development of the population of marine organisms? In Cyprus, 
Based on a strategic planning framework, the relevant government department, the Department of Fisheries and Marine Research, has proceeded in the creation of marine protected areas with artificial reefs in the areas of Famagusta, Lanaka, Limassol and Paphos. Limassol hosts two such areas which are held in high regard. Located in the area of Dasudi, the first stretches from the shore to the open sea, and the second, also from the shore to the open sea, located in the area of Amathunda. These two areas, in which fishing is strictly forbidden, contribute to the enrichment of marine life and to the rational management of fishery resources, functioning as shelter for the different stages of development of marine organisms. In 2009, the first marine protected area of artificial reefs on the island was created in the marine area of Amathunda, which occupies 1.8 square kilometers and stretches from the shore to a depth of about 33 meters. The area encompasses the ancient port of Amathunda, which constitutes the first undersea archaeological park of Cyprus, where the healthy Neptune grasses, an endemic marine plant of the Mediterranean, host literally hundreds of marine organisms. Following the initial four cinder block pyramids, which have been submerged, two more formations of natural boulders were placed in two different positions and depths, which were soon inhabited by a plethora of fish. Five years later, in 2014, the creation of the marine protected area of artificial reefs in the area of Dasudi took place, which occupies 1.5 square kilometers. Three vessels have been submerged at Dasudi in combination with several constructions made of concrete, limestone, as well as clay pots. There, at a length of 23 meters, we can meet Constantis, the sea dog, at 19 meters, Lady Thetis, and at 10 meters, the hard-working Holy Trinity, which commenced a second, even more important career, that of submerged vessels which function as artificial reefs. At Dasuti, two more artificial reef formations have been created. The so-called Gaia and another formation made of clay pots which were built with the assistance of high school students based in Limassol. For the sinking of vessels and their proper placement on the ocean floor, all the relevant international convention guidelines given by the Department of Fisheries and Marine Research were implemented for the creation of artificial reefs and the protection of the Mediterranean Sea. The different types of artificial reefs which were designed and submerged in the two marine protected areas in Limassol possess all the necessary features, including the form, complexity, volume, proper planning and layout, so as to create underwater reliefs, which in time can be absorbed by the environment. 
these are gradually transformed into colonies, hosting hundreds of organisms, which rejuvenate the aquatic flora and fauna of the areas, hence proving the effective functioning of artificial reefs. The marine protected areas with artificial reefs also stimulate the interest for activities such as autonomous and free diving, underwater tourism, scientific research, while enabling the possibility for environmental awareness and education. The preservation of marine ecosystems requires vision, long-term goals, a thorough comprehension of the natural processes and, of course, a true love for the sea. The development of ecological awareness towards the marine environment leads to the protection of marine biodiversity and to the gradual balance between human activity and the available marine resources. Furthermore, in such a complex and multi-dimensional matter like the protection of the marine environment, anyone can contribute as an individual and active citizen. Through our attitude, change of behaviour and active involvement, we can help to keep our seas alive. Man has never forsaken the sea. He, on the contrary, always returns to it intuitively, as if returning home. <laughs>